Well, well, well. I love when these um, stories come up. Especially when I'm on a hunt for skinwalkers. Now, I forget, I, uh, someone was, I don't know if it was on Reddit. Or, yeah, I think it might have been on Reddit. But they were talking about the LBL, uh, lands between lakes, or the land between lakes. And I don't even have to even look up the history of this land. I looked at the maps, and I'll tell you right now, everything that I've seen is uh, literally there. Um... You can tell right away Native Americans lived there. When you look up history, uh, pretty much like out west or word or southwest, you do hear a lot of stories about the Mississippi River. This is not too far from that place. But also the reason why I like to bring this up, and I haven't looked up yet, but the... Uh, I have to look into the Tennessee wild man that I uh, found out about last year. But all in all, I'm not going with no Tennessee wild man. And this story, once again, brings forth the truth of skinwalkers. And... Uh, This land is um, pretty close to one another, being in Tennessee, being into Kentucky, mind you. And this is where it takes place. Uh, here is a national recreation area in western Kentucky that also runs down to Tennessee called Land Between the Lakes, or LBL for short. And right there, when I saw this story immediately, my, um, my, uh, Tennessee Wild Man video clicked into the mind. And there have been a lot of times that I've looked up and found out about, like, looking into Ohio, and stuff like that about Native Americans and always I mentioned something about the Mississippi River and I'm for damn sure that the Mississippi River right being a huge big river and even the land between the lakes having river right they call it lakes but they look like freaking rivers so I don't understand that but um all in all waterways like I always say you come into a big, huge waterway, lake, pond, anything that looks or houses fish, rivers, creeks, um, brooks, you will find a Native American dwelling. And also where you find the Native American dwelling, you will find beasts that they speak of running through their land so once again it leads to respect of the land and sacred land please respect it or you will bring forth the beast and this is pretty cool because it happened within the year of my birth <laughs> but in 1973 a group of students from murray state university were Purporterly, I don't use that word all the time. Camping in the area one evening, and one of the group went off into the trees in order to go take a leak. And, um, whoops. as he was standing there, used in the bathroom, he Notice something similar to this beast with growing red eyes staring at him. Now the story goes 
that he went back to the campsite. I believe this is a video, so... Yeah, it was a video. He went back to the uh, campsite. And, uh... Looked pale and frightened to all his friends. Explained what the hell just happened. And then all of a sudden they started hearing noises. You know... Like, um... Like the person that said they were at... The Wilton Cemetery I was at. Telling me that they heard crunching or the lemons through... Weeky Peaky Pond or a lake. Another group of people hearing big, huge trees being knocked over, crack sounds. And then all of a sudden, the, you know, the uh, chalkboard eerie scream and howls of a beast in the woods. Meaning this started up with this group of college kids. As soon as that happened, they closed up camp. They're in a Volkswagen van. The old hippie vans, mind you. <laughs> Raced off into the night. And all of a sudden, in pursuit, was the skinwalker. Um, they, they claimed that they literally drove... And was being chased. And this thing. Caught up to him. Grabbed a hold of the bus. The Volkswagen van. And literally stopped it in its tracks. And uh. I'm sure they weren't going too fast. So. Brings me to this. There is a road in the middle of this friggin' thing. I think it's 46 that you can travel through. And I'm sure there's various roads off of it. And supposedly this place is open 24 hours, it claims. Yep, open 24 hours. Visitor center. But this is the lake between land between the lakes, natural rectal area. And where that little dot is, and you go straight through up. I might as well bring it up on the map. Make it easier to describe. Yep. Recreational area. Now, as you can see, there is a road. 453, excuse me. <laughs> That you can literally travel through this whole area. There are power lines in there. I don't know if that... Yeah, there's a silver trail road. I don't know if you can drive. Oh yeah, 132 as you can see. There's a lot of roads you can travel through this thing. So, it sucks once again. They don't put in detail where the F... This goddamn friggin' campsite was. And where they went. Which really pisses me off all the time. Because I would like an exact location. Because one day I will be going. To land between the lakes. Because if there's a skinwalker sighting. I need to get there. That's right. Just like I need to get back to the Bridgewater Triangle. But once again, that place don't give details of where the two guys were in the woods. Claiming to see a rabbit saying, watch up, doc. Which that was a definite skinwalker sighting. But, um, as you can clearly see, and I'm for damn sure, because a lot of these places... As you see along outside on route, say conservation land, reservation land, all them lands once housed of the dwellings of Native American. And I can damn for sure ensure you that they lived here too. And as you can see up all up over to the uh, left side of the map is Kentucky. Then you go down, scroll down here, and you have Nashville, Tennessee. 
Now I want to find out where the hell this action. I forget. And due to this story coming up, I don't remember where it was, but uh, gotta mark the spot of where the Tennessee wild man was located. But once again, I'm not calling him the wild man, I'm calling him another skinwalker. And there's the uh, dotted line that separates Tennessee from Kentucky. So as you can see, as they say in the story, Southern Kentucky, there's the uh, location. Yeah, Tennessee's down this half, so. All in all, man. All in all. I wonder how far this is. Mm -mm. Hey, yeah, you wanna give me what the fuck? Why is that doing a piece of crap? I want to see how far this is. <laughs> the hell this crap? Anyways, and he giving me my friggin' what? Oh, 17 hours. Oh shit. Nope. Never mind on that. That's definitely gonna be a trip where I need to spend the night in a motel. Oh my god. 17 hours. Whew. But that's what I'm gonna be doing when my little, when my, hopefully one day YouTube channel blows up. Travel to these destinations and find my finding. But I don't, I, you know what, I don't even really need to look up the history on this. Because I say it all the time. I know what to look for all the time. And this place right here is definite. Land of the Native Americans. So I gotta get out there and check out where the, um, the, uh, Tennessee wild man was seen aka skinwalker that's what I'm going with I don't care what anybody says but these guys oh where's that um college oops little distraction uh the Shawnee is the tribe that was uh, in this area at the time. And they speak of the beast um, in the video I watched, but uh, where is it? Somewhere, yeah, the, the college is somewhere to say right where the number 24, Route 24 is, or in between that area. It wasn't too far from this, so. I mean, other than that, a location I need to get to, but always have to document things like these because, like I say, I'm on my own hunt for the skinwalker. I don't care what I find, I'm going to find it. Regardless, the um, speculations of the story. So that next video, be safe, take care, always believe, out.